Let me tell you, you've already seen the rail. You see Orville laying down. John Daniels is back here with the camera. That's me. I'm out there near the end of the rail. And this box, this box is at the start of the rail because when you put the flyer on the wagon, you've got the motor on this side. We didn't put the motor in the center above us because if we had a crash, we didn't want it falling down on us. So we put it on the side of us. And, but when you put it on the side, it wants to tip over. So you gotta put a box under that wing. You gotta put the box under the wing. And so that's why that box is there. And then when it starts to go down the rail, someone has to run alongside to hold the wing out of the sand so that it doesn't tip down and sit. That's why you see me and my 17 footsteps out there at the end of there. So it's 1035 Thursday morning. Orville's turn to fly. He flips, he flips the wire, goes down the rail, it takes off, goes up about 10 feet, starts to come na, 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 10 feet, 120 feet, 12 seconds, 120 feet. The first flight. We did four flights that day. Orville did two, he did the first. I did two, I did the longest. 852 feet. 852 feet. You know what's out there 852 feet? A little sand dune. And I couldn't get up over it. And so I hit it and crumpled the flyer. And that flyer never flew again. It never flew again. We're sti we all run out. I'm out there, crumpled. I always crumple things. But it's out there. Everybody else runs down. We're congratulating ourselves. We did it. The last 500 feet of that flight were very smooth. They weren't up and down. Had complete control. We did it. We're standing around congratulating. And the wind picks up. The wind starts rolling. And it rolls the flyer starts rolling it towards the ocean and we all grab on and Daniels, the photographer, gets caught up in it, scratched and, and not hurt, but scratched and tangled. And that's why it never flew again. We boxed it up, sent it back to Dayton, and Orville sent this telegram to our family that night and Catherine, our sister, telegraphed Chanute that night, so Octave Chanute knew that we had flown on December 17th, 1903. And this is the telegram that Orville sent to our family. Success, four flights, Thursday morning, all against 21 mile wind, started from level with engine power alone, average speed through air, 31 miles, longest, 57 seconds, Informed Press, Home Christmas, Orville Wright. Thank you very much for coming out tonight. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very good.